Welcome to Contagion Life. Okay. And, What's a tarantula uh, hawk? You want to get into it? Yeah. Right, well, I guess so. You're, I saw this video that I just, I'm getting wild about. Okay. This guy named Coyote Peterson. Coyote Peterson. And uh, Sounds like the kind of fellow I want to have over for dinner. <laughs> Honey, this is Coyote. No, this man studies insects, uh, specifically <laughs> And insects. he studies insects. <laughs> he wears a cowboy hat, and he studies <laughs> insect stings. Okay. So oh, he, the sting. <laughs> so he'll catch the most dangerous, or not dangerous, but the most painful stinging creatures on the planet and sting himself on what? camera. What? What? Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> That's what it takes to get 6,589,333 views on YouTube? It does, yes. <laughs> Why didn't we think of that? Ant is the grand finale on my quest to find the most painful sting in the insect kingdom. Now, this guy's name is Coyote is Peterson? Yeah, he has. Okay. It. You can look this up. It's on Brave Wilderness YouTube channel. And what sort of insect does he have here? It just came out. What sort of insect would this It's a tarantula hawk. It's the world's largest uh, species of wasp. Look how huge oh, that is. Oh, jeez. I've been stung by a wasp. Okay, that sounds horrid. <laughs> That's the wasp in a glass, mind you, for our listeners out there. It's stuck in this glass. It's not a happy. Oh, yeah. They're, they're purposefully teasing it because he wants this thing to sting him. But isn't that sort of inhumane in the sense that once he gets stung, that wasp is going to die? No, he, it doesn't. Oh, wait, it doesn't wasps, die? No, wasps don't die. Oh. Bees do. Oh, man. So Now yeah, I feel yeah. less guilty about killing all those wasps in my yard. To take a sting or bite from anything. My Look, hand this is shaking. guy is shaking. I guess already? <laughs> He's oh, yeah. going to allow this thing right. to sting it's him. It's blue. It's so huge. It's like it's a gonna happen. blue moth. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the tarantula. Hawk. He looks like he's about to inject some heroin. One. He's like tying Is this the off? new drug? What if the new kids were into this? <laughs> Here we go. I've been injecting myself with wasps, mama. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. He went on a psychedelic trip for six... <laughs> For the next six weeks, he was on a psychedelic trip. <laughs> now this guy like... Oh man, I gotta try me some tarantula hawk. Where do we get that? <clears throat> it's just crazy. It this, only stings for an hour. This guy intentionally uh, had an alligator bite him. What? To show you why getting an alligator as a pet is not a good idea. I could have just told ready? you that. Everyone ready? <laughs> for several Rolling. reasons. GoPro? Rolling. Why does he allow, he allows himself to get bitten by a, a crocodile? One. Oh, this is not good. I think he's a gator, not Two. a croc. Uh, yeah, Three. whatever it is. Oh my gosh! <laughs> he just stuck oh, yeah. his arm he's, in that gator's mouth. He is holding on. Yeah, yeah, he is. It's because he's tasting your blood. And now he's putting his hand in a vat of leeches. What? To show you what it's like to be feasted on by one of the world's most notorious parasites. Look at that. They are all over me. This would be known as a health spa treatment in the 15th century. <laughs> really? They would put leeches on? They would. Yeah, they would bleed you, right? You gotta, yeah. Take the bad blood. And it, you wouldn't stop bleeding, though. This is Leeches are really good if you're filming a horror movie and you need some blood quickly. <laughs> yes, the quick and dirty way. Yes. The running gun. I want this to look real. <laughs> Which is ranked as yeah, now he's getting stung by a velvet ant. A velvet ant? Oh, why would he do that? Why is he allowing himself to get stung? This is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, this is super bad. Yeah, I know. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Somebody stop him and, and take him to some sort of asylum where he can stop hurting himself. <laughs> it's just amazing. This person is hurting himself. There has to be some sort of psychological issue there might with a man who... He's addicted to have to hurt, consistently hurting himself. Well, he's doing it for us. He's, he's doing not it, doing it for me. He's doing it so we can know the dangers of being stung. Oh, by I these know creatures. the dangers, <laughs> and have a respect for them. Yes, but this then, is why I'm not an outdoorsy type person. <clears throat> I'm more of an indoorsy. He's type like the person. new uh, Steve Irwin. No, I wouldn't call him the new Steve Irwin. Well, he's getting stung by stuff. It, are we allowed to make that joke on the radio yet? Has it been long enough? How many years? It's been 10 years. Oh, okay. I think we, we can da, da, da. safely say da, 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 da. that. No, but, uh, well, I mean, he's getting bit by, uh, Ale well, he's getting, he's the gator hunter, whereas Steve Irwin was the crocodile hunter. No, this guy's, this guy's not hunting gators. Well, he's going to a preserve where the gators already are. <laughs> just getting Preserved there. They've already been hunted and captured. The gator prey. <laughs> Some of them probably detoothed. 
I assume that that's a thing. <laughs> detooth. Detooth, detooth that crocodile. I mean, you could. People always talk about. He, he was saying that's there's it's dangerous to have an alligator for a pet. Yes, that makes perfect sense to me. But what if you declawed and uh, detooth it? So when it bites you, it's like really gummy. Yeah, and it just adds a lot of pressure. It's like you're getting clamped by a gummy gator. Gummy gator. <laughs> yes, exactly. What? I mean, wouldn't that eliminate the danger of a croc? I don't know. Or a gator, rather? Do you really want your arm stuck in a gator's mouth? Isn't that like a lizard? Basically, it's a dinosaur. <laughs> it's a modern-day dinosaur. Yeah. Crocodiles and gators are modern-day cro- dinosaurs. Yeah. So why do you want your hand in there? That, nothing good. Have you not watched Jurassic Park? One, two, three, or the new one? <laughs> well, I know that with dogs, their saliva can heal cuts and wounds and stuff. Maybe there's... Some uh, secrets about gator saliva. Ah, uh, yeah, know that's, this guy knows all the secrets. He's, <laughs> this guy's getting high off insect stings and well, gator bites. Well, I know bites. Komodo dragons, they'll kill you because once they bite you, their saliva is filled with a bunch of poisons. Oh, you man. Know that? Thank goodness none of those things are just roaming around free in Boulder. Well, Had a Komodo dragon sighting. Yes. <laughs> some, man, uh, Dwayne psychology. <clears throat> some uh, wook hanging uh-huh. up in uh, Netherland. Walking around with a gator. He's my friend. His name's Bobby. I got a Komodo dragon. I found him in Mississippi. That just one drove guy him up had, here. <laughs> they took my lemur. I know. I so I had that. to get a Komodo dragon. <laughs> and then it bit somebody. Wasn't that the story we were talking about weeks ago where this guy had a lemur, but it bit some it child? Bit it bit a child. At the merry-go-round. At the merry-go-round. <laughs> yes. And everybody in town knew the lemur and, and it was they, safe. They and said it was kind. It was, and it was very... a kind lemur. <laughs> <laughs> he was gracious. He helped... He, he volunteered his time at the homeless shelters, you know, <laughs> he just donated, fed the hungry. Donated 30% of his paycheck. He was kind. Hungry orphans. Exactly. He was a kind lemur. He shopped at Whole Foods. And then this horrible toddler came. He was a kind <laughs> lemur until one day a horrible toddler came by, yeah, causing <clears throat> such a ruckus. The lemur politely asked the child, child, please calm yourself. Whereas the child attacked the lemur, and the lemur had no choice but to bite the child. It was self-defense. It was self-defense. Where is the Lifetime movie for that? We need <laughs> we need justice for the lemur. Well, maybe we should start a network, James. Contagium should start a network where we create Lifetime shows that involve the main character being some sort of animal. Okay. I already have several in my in my mind. Like Free Willy, but instead of the movie, we make a TV series. Out First of it. movie we lead off with is Harambe. Harambe. We do a Harambe movie. Okay, I, I like that idea. And then we we do the sequel, and it's uh, Harambe Two: Monkeying Around. Nice. It kind of starts getting more Sharknado-y as we <laughs> proceed with the sequel. Then we do a third sequel with uh, with the lemur. Nice. Lemurs are, you know. Then we go. I don't know. Prime primate panic. There's got to be something we can start a show <laughs> with insects. They're the main character, yep. and they just go around stinging people. Oh, it's I a think show about a- wasps. It's a, it's like a family TV show where one wasp flies around and he stings people, but when he's all done with his day, he flies home and he has dinner with his family, and they go through issues, and he has a teenage daughter wasp, but he's got to you know, talk to her about issues, and yes. it's very much like family matters and we'll call it with wasps. B B-movie. It, it, it's a B-movie. Starring Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Made no. by a dream that, That's already been taken, hasn't yeah. it? Oh. Isn't that- <laughs> so you're saying my idea has already been... <laughs> My horrible idea has already come to fruition. I mean, we could do tarantula hawk movie. Uh, <laughs> we need to find Pixar. the most obscure insect we can find <laughs> and put it into a premise similar to Pretty Woman. The Gila Monster. Pretty Woman. Wow. Yes. That's, uh... I went out there. How many Gila Monsters are going to be injured during the filming? <clears throat> many. <laughs> We're going to need at least We're 16 gonna... <laughs> Gila Monsters. <laughs> Because at the Why end, do so many keep dying? I mean, usually I get mad. at the end of these <laughs> movies, it'll say like no animals were harmed during the making of this film. Yes, yeah, so f- I don't think it's possible to make this film without harming at least twenty animals. Exactly, four no animals <laughs> and sixteen youths. <laughs> no more than sixteen animals <laughs> and four children were harmed during the making of this film. <laughs> oh boy, I just love our sense of humor, James. You want to watch this guy get stung by a tarantula hawk? I, more than anything. <laughs> I've never wanted to see anything more. Two. Here we go. Oh man, I can feel Three. the tension. Oh god. Oh, just stung him. That dude, why, why, dude? That, that hurts me to watch. Ah! <laughs> and look, I thought he was going to kill it afterwards. Like he forces it to sting him, <laughs> then he just starts smacking it with a new newspaper. <laughs> it stung me! 
Oh my gosh! Oh! Why would you do that? Oh! You could just lie. You could just lie, dude. <laughs> oh! My arm hurts! Cut. Okay, I'm better. <laughs> John, I can't move my arm! Oh, no, of course you can't move your arm. You were stung by a tarantula hawk. Yeah, and for those that don't know, tarantula hawks are a species of wasp that will kill tarantulas. They hunt tarantulas, and they sting them and lay eggs in their belly or something like that. Something crazy, so... <laughs> so as you picture that, with the laying eggs in the belly and... Picture well, he didn't this guy's, have any eggs laid on picture, him, but... picture the pleasure that this guy is currently enduring. <laughs> nope, I just can't move my arm! <laughs> What if this happened in my I chemistry class? <laughs> kind of Pearson doesn't cry though, right? Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is awesome. So is, this, is this not the best thing? It's like, not the best thing, James. Well, it might be. I mean... <laughs> I think if we don't accept this, then the terrorists win us. Ah, uh, well, I see what you mean then. We should attack the terrorists with tarantula hawks. <laughs> They said an army of they're, they're doing Gila chemical monster. warfare. We're playing insect warfare. Ah, uh, second wave of pain. <laughs> There's a, more than one wave of pain. We dropped bags and bags and loads and loads of tarantula hawk wasps all over ISIS. <laughs> they were all laying on the ground going, Oh, There's my only, arms and neck and stuff. Well, it's only for five minutes, though. That gives you a five minute window. That's we got a five minute window to get in here, boys. Take care of business. It's <laughs> like a flashbang just right filled there. with tarantula hawks. <laughs> Hold on, before we leave now, let's go ahead and tell CNN exactly what we're doing. <laughs> Hi, Tom. We're going to be dropping a species of insect. We're not going to tell you which one. But let's just say they like to hunt tarantulas and lay eggs on their stomachs. We're going to drop a bunch of those on, uh, you know. Mosul. <laughs> That ought to take care of it. Then we'll just have to fight them. Yeah, then we'll have to fight the, the tarantula hawks. What they take we over. tried to take over the city, <laughs> but there's just too many tarantula hawks. It's going to be like Donkey Kong. There's going to be like a king bee that's, that's just right. ruling everything. Uh-huh. Oh, this guy looks like he okay. is not doing well. Okay. Let's come back into the scene here. Oh, you little bugger. Oh, Why? Is he going to do it again? At the moment, but <laughs> that would be amazing. The sting from the tarantula hawk. Is serious. I can see why it's ranked as a two on the insect sting pain index. Oh my gosh. And at this juncture, I think it's safe to say that I've worked my way up the ladder and am ready for the bullet ant challenge. I know you are all waiting in anticipation for that one. Trust me, it's coming. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, let's let this go back off into the desert. We safely released the tarantula hawk back into the wild, and as it flew away, I everybody think else we was like, leave. "Why did you not kill <laughs> it?" Thing was over and done with. That thing is a monster. Yeah, it looks horrid. I don't know if I would trust dating a robot of any sort, any sort of metal material could pierce through my body trust. like a weapon. <laughs> I well, but what if it's all like concave? Like, uh, or convex, rather, like the little fat uh, Big Hero 6 robot. I don't know. It, it, wait, Remember a, that a, movie? And it will be a sex bot. 